Good evening and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another cigar review. Today we have the Aliados, Cuba Aliados. Um, it's funny, I had never really heard of this brand, but I have a lighter. You know, I'm sure they just stole the logo and used it on there. But this is, as far as I know, a classic brand that was recently acquired by Oliva. I was talking with Tom, who is the Oliva rep for New England, and he was telling me about this. This is all Honduran, Honduran Puro, as far as I know. Notes just off the nose of fermented tobacco, a subtle hint of hay, a subtle hint of raisin. Boy, I feel like. I should be using that particular lighter for this, but I don't know if I have any fuel in it. There's the pack, looks nice. There's the cut, not too shabby. This is a six by 60. I don't love these gigantic ring gauges, but my friend, Jeff, just had one of these. Said it was pretty great, so. Seeing if we can bring the themed lighter uh, <laughs> pause resume oh no <laughs> why can't I get a reliable lighter huh and they last great for nine months and then I do like the single flame this was my favorite lighter for a period of time it was really consistent but I don't know got so excited about later I didn't even do a cold draw but does that really matter some say yes some say no what really matters is when it's on fire right it takes a while light right like these uh, 60 ring gauge Cigars. Hmm. I was gonna say my initial impression is it reminds me of Oliva O, but it's already changed a little bit. We're getting lots of wood off of this. Definitely some coffee. Some saltiness. Not really much pepper. Hmm. Interesting. Let's spend some time with it. Okay, here we are in the first third. Burns a little uneven here, but we're going to let it try to sort itself out. Give it the spin. See if that helps. Well, the wood is definitely a cedar. Lots of earth notes. Just a little hint of a raisin in the background. Strength is medium. Smoke output is medium. Uh, there is is sort of like a little bit of a creaminess. Pretty straightforward, basic, but delicious. All right, let's see if we can 
get this burn to straighten out a little bit. I'll spend a little, little more time. While supplies last, we have a uh, Trader Joe's single origin. I forget which one this is. Black coffee. Oh, that's nice with the coffee. Has the burn got worse since I was talking here? And I don't know. Tolmordu. I have the Caribbean rum cast finished. I don't know. I feel a little scammed by that. I'm not getting a lot of that finished cast rum in here. I try to buy whiskeys that have a cork. I got tricked into this one. I thought it was a cork, but it's a screw top. Well, I got to drink it anyway. Trying to keep it uh, on the budget whiskeys if I can. Save more money for the cigars, right? All right, we'll see you in the second third. Here we are approaching the second third. The flavor profiles are sort of meshing together very nicely at this point. It's about 55 minutes of smoking time so far, so we have some ways to go with this. I neglected to say that this is the original blend. I had the cellophane, it said on there, or ORI blend. So I assume that's the original blend of the Aliados. The draw has improved. The I, I did give a minor, minor touch up to this. It's burning quite nice. Ash has dropped once. Second ash is holding on quite nicely. Lots of earth, cedar, hint of like the dried fruit, a little bit of raisin, maybe plum. Um, it does remind me of the Oliva Cereo. It doesn't have the cocoa and a little sweetness. But the smoothness of this is similar. The earthiness and cedar is similar. Maybe I'm saying that because it was one of the cigars I smoked recently, but it reminds me of that. Great with the coffee. The whiskey does bring out a little <coughs> hint of sweetness. But over overall, it's more of a drier, earthier cigar. Stick around for the final third. We're going to give this a score. Also, can you recommend a good lighter for me under $25? I have like four lighters here. Neither of them, none of them are functioning correctly. So I got to re-up. You can recommend one. I'd appreciate it. All right, here we are approaching the final third now. The wrapper's got a little messed up here when it took off the band. Maybe that's user error. Maybe it's just the wrapper. Who knows? I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's going to burn right through that. Medium plus at this point. A little bit of pepper coming in there. A little bit of red pepper at the end. The flavor is really nice though. It's been consistent, smooth. That's what really counts, not so much the wrapper. Although if 
If it really came off, that would be a problem, but not a problem here. Tom told me this is a budget stick. I don't know what the MSRP is on this. Budget stick, I'm guessing six to eight dollars. I'm in Maine, so taxes and all that nonsense is probably gonna be 10 plus. Uh, it's worth it, it's good. If you like Honduran cigars, you're definitely gonna get that earthiness in this. Time to give it a score. Very good with coffee, by the way. We're going to give this 8.8. .8. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that business. Most importantly, pray hope, don't worry, and smoke cigars. See you in the next one.